By the end of these 15 minutes, you will be an expert at supply and demand trading. I'm going to show you how to identify areas of supply and demand, how to locate the gaps, and I'm even going to give you a bonus strategy so you could go and make profits today. Let's get it. When you're trading supply and demand, what we're looking for is where the banks entered the market, right? Where did the momentum pick up and it just started going crazy, right? Let's just make this simplified. We're not going to do all these crazy terms. Where did the market pick up and start being very strong, right? So if we come right here, we can see obviously this is where the markets got strong, right? This is where the banks entered. They pushed it all the way down. We're not doing none of this jaggedy shit no more, right? We're just pushing straight down with a whole bunch of power. This, this dude just took three protein bars and three protein shakes and it pushed down strong, right? So that's all we're looking for. Let's not overcomplicate this. You can zoom out and you can see where is there supply and demand? Well, you can just see the big pushes, a big push right here, a big push right here. It's obvious. Everywhere you look, there's supply and demand. This is a demand push, push up, right? Supply and demand is just consecutive candles, the same color that is showing momentum, right? So we have three candles, one, two, three. That's a supply push. They're the same colors. They're pushing down their big candles, right? You can tell, okay, something just changed in the market. Some big player just entered the market, so we want to be trading with him, right? So that's how you identify it. It's the same thing with demand. You come right here, you see one, two, three strong candles. That's a demand push, right? It's going up. When it's going up, it's demand. When it's dropping, it's supply. So all you got to do to figure out, is this a supply and demand zone? Okay, you see one two three four candles that are pushing up with momentum we know something just changed in the market if you just look a little bit back before we had all this consolidation collecting orders nothing was really happening and then we get this strong push now someone has entered the market that we need to be trading with right it's just basic don't overcomplicate this and just to show you some examples what is not supply and demand if you look at these right here this whole thing let me get a, a drawing tool right here this is not considered demand we have one two candles and then we had red candles we had one two candles then we had red candles that's not a demand push we need at least three candles that are strong and, and showing real momentum right now supply and demand can be one candle right but it needs to be a huge candle which you rarely see let's see if we can find one okay like this candle right here right this big red one that would be considered supply because it's a huge candle it's breaking structure it's this is just too strong this is a supply zone right and then we had another candle to follow it you always want to see multiple candles right but if it's just one it needs to be really big right so once we find the supply and demand zones we need to ask ourselves was there a gap attached to that supply and demand zone right because gaps are very important and i'm going to show you guys right now how to locate gaps in the market and what they are and why they're important, right? Why do I want to find gaps in the market? I'm about to show you. I'm about to blow your fucking mind, bro. Especially if you're a support and resistance trader. Trust me, this is about to change everything for you. Okay, so we have these gaps in the market. Now, there can't be a gap in the market, right? Th this shit needs to be flowing. It has like its own pattern, the way it moves. It's making higher highs, higher lows, right? The widths always need to touch each other. So if you see right here, let me find a good example. I want you guys to focus on these candles right here. So we're looking at the top of this wick on this candle, right? On this bullish candle, the top of this wick, and we're looking at this candle, this big strong candle right here, and we're looking at this third candle, right? This third candle, the bottom of the wick, right? Only the wick we're looking at. The bottom of the wick always has to come touch the first candle's top wick, right? That's how the market moves, that's what they do. You can back test this. These three candles, the first candle's wick needs to come and tap the third candle's wick. If it doesn't tap it, then there's a gap in the market and the gap needs to be filled. There will never be a gap in the market that doesn't get filled. We don't know when it's going to get filled, but it will get filled. And I'm about to show you guys that right now. I'm telling you, nobody else is giving you this information for free, bro. If you really want to get into this shit, join my course and my mentorship. I'm about to blow your fucking mind, bro. So let's get deeper into this. All right, so here's another example. You see how this top wick is touching this wick? Now, these three candles are usually a demand or a supply zone. That's where we find the three candles, right? I'm just showing you examples like the market is supposed to touch each other, right? So what you want to do is say this was our demand push, which it is a demand push from here and here, but this has a gap, but I'm going to get into that. So let's just say we're counting this candle. So we get this first candle. What you want to do is simple. 
get you a horizontal ray, get you a line, right? Put it at the very top of the wick of the first candle. Skip to the third candle and see, did that wick come down and touch this line? You see that? If it didn't come down and touch this line, we have a gap in the market and it needs to be filled. So I'm about to show you right now on the very next candle. Okay, so this is a demand push, right? Let's zoom out so you can see that. All the momentum came in the market. The consecutive same color candles were pushing up, right? You see before that we had all this consolidation. Someone came in the market, we need to be trading with them. Now obviously we want to take these trades as specific zones, which we'll get into the future, right? But I just want to show you how the gaps always need to be filled, right? Okay, so this is the first candle. What do we do? We get our line, we put at the tip of the wick. Boom. We skip to the third candle. We say, did this third candle's wick come down and tap this? It didn't tap it. So now we have a gap in the market. So what you can do is take another line, put it at the bottom of the, of the wick of the third candle, right? So now we know that this is the zone that needs to be filled. This has to get filled, right? It's not like, oh, sometimes it gets filled. No, 100%. This has to get filled. This is the way the market works. We just don't know when it's gonna get filled, right? So that's why we wanna take trades from this area in specific zones and specific times, right? But I'm just trying to show you that it needs to be filled, right? So you can see right here, price came up, came all the way down, it filled the gap, because it has to, it's like by law it has to. Fills the gap and then we move up a little bit and continue price, right? But this needs to be filled. So this is very important. Locating gaps is very important. Let's just look at some more gaps, right? I wanna give you guys as many examples as I can in this free course, because I really want you guys to get some results. Candle one, Candle two, candle three. What do we do? We go to the first candle, take our line, our horizontal ray, put it at the tip of the first wick, boom. We go to the third candle, we skip the second one, go to the third one. Did that wick come down and touch this line? No, it didn't. So what do we do? We take our line, put it at the third candle wick, at the bottom. Now we know this zone needs to be filled, and I bet you it gets filled. You know why? Because it has to get filled. This shit is game changing. When I found this shit out, Changed everything for me. I'm gonna zoom out, we're just gonna go to the right. Hasn't got filled yet, boom, filled. It has to be filled, no matter what. Any fucking gap needs to be filled. We can go up right here, you see this gap? Watch, just watch bro, I'm about to prove it right here. Nobody's teaching you this shit bro, check it out. Okay, same thing for sales, right? Three candles, one, two, and three. This bullish candle is gonna be the third candle. So we get our line from the first candle. We're gonna draw it across. Boom, at the bottom of the wick. Cause we're looking for south, so we draw it at the bottom, right? Obviously it's going down. Get the second candle, go to the third candle. Since we're going, since we're looking for south, we're gonna draw at the top of the third candle, right? So now we know this zone needs to be filled. And I bet everything right now that is about to be filled. You know why? Cause it has to be filled. And what happens? It gets filled. So I'm trying to tell you bro, this shit is game changing. Supply and demand is the truth. This is how it moves. So once you learn how the market moves, you can trade and you will understand why you've been getting stopped out all these years because they need to stop you out for other people to win. Once you get that in your head and you realize someone has to lose for you to win, you're gonna be on the right side of the game. Let's just say we're trading support and resistance, right? So where would you put your support and resistance right here? You would put it right here at this bottom line. This would be your resistance zone right here. You see all these tabs, you see a drop, you come and try to take a trade right here? Nope, you know why? Because we had gaps that needed to be filled. And we even have more gaps up here that need to be filled. So since we had gaps up here that needed to be filled, you're gonna get stopped out. So everyone that entered right here got stopped out because there was gaps that needed to be filled right above. This shit is game changing. So let's do this last gap right above. I just wanna show you it's random. No, you know what, I'll go to a random place. I'm, just, I'm not even gonna look. I'm just gonna go to some random place and we're gonna go. Oh wait, let me put this in replay mode. Reset the chart. All right, let's find a gap. All right, this gap right here. Boom. Boom, right? Now when it comes to gaps in the market, it doesn't matter about the colors, doesn't matter about pushes and all that. Once we put it all together, it's gonna matter. But if you're just trying to locate gaps, it doesn't matter. So we see that this wick didn't touch the top of this wick, so we know we have a gap. We're just gonna zoom out, go to the future, let it play, boom, filled. Gap gets filled, and that's what it is, bro. It's like, come on, bro, every gap needs to be filled. Every single gap. You see this gap right here? Top of the wick to the third candle, boom. Watch this gap get filled. 
gap filled, boom. And what happened? As soon as it filled it, shot up. You know why? Because every gap needs to be filled, bro. And we're gonna talk about how to find which gaps are the ones that are gonna push off like this, right? We're just getting started, bro. Stick with me. So now that we know what supply and demand is and how to locate gaps, now we wanna make sure that we're trading in the right direction, right? So let's talk about market structure. So with market structure, it's very important, right? The way the market moves is it goes up and then it goes sideways and then it goes down, right? And it's the same thing, vice versa. It'll go down, sideways, and up. It doesn't just go down for a whole month and then shoot up for a whole month. It needs to go sideways to collect orders and consolidate, right? So we need to know market structure. This is very important. So what is market structure? It is higher highs and higher lows. So what is a higher high and a higher low? So let's go to a trending market, okay? You can see right here. We pushed off right here. We made a higher high. Why is this a higher high? Because it closed above this right here. It closed above this lower high. So since we came up, we broke structure, closed above this, this is now our higher high, right? Price comes down, we make a higher low. But this higher low is not valid until we make another higher high. Pay attention to that, very important. Once we made this higher high, we closed above this high. Once this candle closed above this high, we made a new higher high. So once this higher high was formed, now this higher low is valid, right? So if this gets broken, now we're breaking structure. So this is very important. So we got a higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high. So when you're making higher highs and higher lows, right? That means we're in the uptrend, right? We're not, we're not going any lower. We're, we're following market structures. So if we're making higher highs and higher lows, we're in the uptrend. So if we make a new higher high, right, we can predict that there's gonna be another higher low. So we usually wanna get in where that higher low is so we can catch the trade and ride it up to the new higher high, right? So that's very important. It's the same thing for sales. Let's go over it real quick. So now let's go over lower highs and lower lows if we're looking for sales, right? When we're in a downtrend. So you see we have this push down. We stop, we come up, we make a lower high, right? This is only a lower high because we made a lower low. So once this lower low was made, now this lower high was valid. So once we get this lower low, we made another lower high, then a lower low, then another lower high, then a lower low, right? So the next market condition is consolidation, right? We're just going sideways. We're not really going up or down, right? This is consolidation right here. We don't want to trade this at all. Just stay away from this. If you zoom out of your charts and you see it's just consolidating, just stay away from it. If you can't tell if it's up or down, if we're going up or down, just go on the higher time frame and see, okay, what are we doing on the overall time frames, right? What are we doing? Are we moving sideways? Are we going up and down? What's happening, right? You see consolidation? Stay away from it. Trust me. So now let's get into the actual strategy, right? Now, one key thing that I need you guys to do is trade your session, right? What session for your pair? If you want to trade USD pairs, you need to trade New York session. That's what I trade, so that's what I'm going to teach you. So USD pairs, AUD USD, Euro USD, NAS 100, pairs like that, right? That's what I trade. Those are the exact pairs that I trade. So New York session starts 5 a.m. LA time to 12 p.m. LA time, right? But the best times to trade, I would say, is from 5 to like nine o'clock. I wouldn't trade after nine o'clock, even maybe after eight o'clock. Those are just the best times, right? So what you wanna do is you can add a kill zone to your charts, right? You go to indicators, type in kill zones just like this. Kill zones by Oscar VS. Once it pops up, you're gonna go to settings, right? You go to your inputs, turn all these off. Tokyo, London, turn them all off, right? We don't want none of that. We just wanna know what time New York session is. This is how you can know what time it is for your region, right? You might be on the East Coast, you know, just use this, trust me. Okay, so I found a trade example. So the first thing you wanna look for, make sure you're in your trading session, right? This line shows that we just entered our trading session. So now we're looking for a trade. Second thing we're looking for is a supply or a demand push, right? And you can see clear as day, we have a demand push right here. Let me get these candles. One first candle, second candle, third candle, right? These are our three candles. So we can see that this is obviously a demand push. We have strong momentum. We have three candles, the same color. Someone from the bank just entered this market, right? It just changed the whole shift of the market. Look, it was consolidating. And now we have this big push. Now we ask ourselves for our third confluence. 
do we have a gap in the market? Yes, we do have a gap. We get our line, we draw it from the first candle's top wick. Boom. Then we go to the third candle's bottom wick. Boom. Now this gap needs to be filled. And it needs to be filled 100%, right? It can be filled halfway. That's not, that's not what we're doing. It needs to be filled 100%. It needs to be filled all the way for, it, for this to work. So what we would do is, once we have this drawn out, Price comes down, taps it. Let me put this in replay mode so you can see exactly how it looks. Boom, price comes down, right? We see that, we're like, okay, now we're getting excited. Let's get our position ready. I use magic keys. You can use, you know, your phone, whatever you got. We get our position ready. Long position, right here. As Soon as it taps it and fills it 100%, we're gonna be entering the trade. Now what you wanna do, right? Once you got your lines drawn up, you know where your gap's at, you're gonna take a rectangle, you're gonna draw from the first line, right? From the first line where the gap started, and you're gonna draw it down to the swing low. Let me change the color of this. So we're gonna draw from the start of the gap, the first line, and we're gonna bring it down to the swing low. The swing low, just look for another red candle, right? If we're looking for buys, just look for the red candle that's recent, right? The, the, the higher low, the last higher low is where you wanna do it. Right, so price pushed up, came down, made a higher low, and we pushed up. So just draw it at the bottom of that, the swing low, right? Where did price come, swing, and then drop, right? If we were looking for sales, we're looking for that swing, right? That's that swing high right here. Vice versa, swing low. Where did price come up, come down, swing right here, and then push up? So then this would be the swing low, All right? So let me delete that stuff. All right, let's get it. Okay, so price is right here. It hasn't filled all the way. We, keep, we take our position, draw it at the start of the box, draw it at the swing low, boom. Now there's two ways you can enter, right? You can enter on a break of the candle or you can enter aggressive as soon as it taps this box. We're always gonna go for a one and two, right? Always a one and two. You can go for a one and one if you want, but I'm gonna go for a one and two. Boom, TP is hit, one and two, right? As soon as it tapped it, we enter this trade aggressive. Now, if you wanna wait for the break of candle, you can get a better risk to reward. Break of the candle. Put your stops at the swing low. If you're gonna enter up here, the swing low will be right here, right? The last higher low. Boom. So now you still got a one or two. Uh, one or two point three, right? So it's up to you how you want to enter. This is the whole strategy. You wait for a supplier demand push, you mark out your gaps, wait for it to tap it, enter the trade, and just let it play out, bro. It's as simple as that. You just do this shit in your time and you're gonna win. Now, there's gonna be times where everything sets up and you're gonna lose. And the reason for that is because you need to get more advanced, right? So now that you know the basics and how this regular supply and demand works, now you need a real strategy that's been back tested. And that's why my course and mentorship comes involved because I have advanced methods on this, right? I perfected this. I swear I have the best strategy out. Nobody's fucking with me when it comes to supply and demand. I literally back tested this shit for years. I took things that I learned from everybody. Mamba, Lambo, Raul, Doyo Exchange, everybody. I took everybody's strategy, made it into one, and now I'm getting rich to rewards of one to seven, one to eight, one to five. Like, I know I really perfected this. If you want more advanced techniques with this strategy, you know, join my course, join my mentorship. I'm gonna do my best to get you profitable.